YouTube. That'd be fine. Have we got any apologies for absence? Yes. Councillor Mike Cole and Councillor Petra Pemberton with um, Val. Something. Any declarations of interest? I don't think so. In it, they normally have. We might have, but we'll see. We'll find out later. The minutes. So, to take him read, as read and confirm the minutes of 10th of June, the events committee being accurate. If you have a chance to have a look at it, we'll go a few minutes. There wasn't any way, I wasn't here. Absent for quotes. Our optimist second there. And we'll be paying there. Thank you. Okay. Um, are there any questions or anything on that? No. Okay, the minutes of the events working party, 12th of August on the 25th of September. Summed up everything nicely. Day, second day. And I'm not in the working to. And on the 12th of August, you discuss extending the hours to the family funding. Two options discuss. It doesn't look to me, I don't think. I think this is the new group. I think that's two options. Yeah, I don't reckon. Yeah, I don't think you made a decision. Thank you. Um, we use the use you weren't seconding, no, right? Can I have a seconder? Thanks, Mark. And all those in favor, thank you. And the Heritage Working Party, have we got someone here who's on the Heritage Working Party? Hey, um, so the last meeting we got was the point. Well, good. Do you want to <laughs> yeah. uh, the event officer might want to do a very quick date as well? Okay. In the Heritage Working Party, so the last meeting was the 6th of August. We did have one due in October. Last bit of council numbers. We will put another date in. The only real update is that there uh, is a slight delay on the blue flag. Yeah, just due to various um, reasons that very much moving. The 2024 plaque will go in yeah. 2025. Yeah. That's the 2024 plaque. Thank you. So, can I have a second of, for the to the someone up there? Jay, and um, all those in favour, thank you. Can I ask another question? It doesn't yes. take a minute. It's just a, was there any real progress in the beats of the bands? It doesn't really say. Not. Um, thank you. Um, so the idea that we would have discussed at the meeting on the 27th of October, and it did have to be delayed from September and very much hope it be an event in May. Um, to fit in with sort of nice weather and it's a bit more planning time. Um, as the meeting didn't happen, the day we can discuss the next meeting will be. Mm -hmm. And may I ask that we'll give a drop of notice so we can take part? Because I'll only do a little bit. Of course. And that was another reason that there just wasn't enough notice for us to be able to really get the lead of the participants. So they will just a point. And that's the printing of the new plaque trail leaflets. Is that in process for the plaque? Okay. The 
that program brochure hasn't been moved to more questions? Um, budget review. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy to. You, you can see in two other um, of the agenda, the family fund day, we mentioned about the budgets. Festival um, this year. Um, we can also talk through the budgets if you like then. Um, it's if, if uh, an overview of the actual festival, which is the first one, item 121. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of figures that are still to come in in terms of costs. Mm -hmm. oh, what's the it's done? Four. So it, hit, it only finished five weeks ago. So we're still sort of compiling the figures. You can see that the, um, for example, um, storeholder fees were up um, and we're still waiting and I can talk further about, about it in terms of ticket pass and the ticketing income statement. Um, Christmas, the, the same really in terms of I mean, we we've prepped for lots in terms of um, within those budgets, and again, we can talk about um, there was a request to have some additional budget, which we can then talk about when it when we talk about um, Christmas warming up for Christmas as part of the agenda. Um, so, unless members, everything is in hand for Remembrance Day. Um, in terms of the actual um, financial side of it. So, yeah, that's, so unless members have got any questions, please. Yeah, no. Mine, sorry, mine is surrounding this question. Um, there's, I'll shift something that is hard to do, I think, get enough get people in. Because the the first one, so Thatcher Festival, and sponsorships, silver orders, and ticketing, and then also the expenditure is double, actually over double, so then it's quite a, quite a loss. Is your question about sponsorship? My, well, yeah, because it's linked to it. Because the sponsorship is only like seven fifty. It's very small. Yeah, so I think has been mentioned in the past. Now, um, um, spoke packages made where you sponsor something across the year, and I thought that was something that we do do. More sponsorship could be made, especially for our marquee events. I mean, Christmas. You know, four hundred pounds. Um, much festival seven fifty. Given the number, no, no, Christmas socks. Sorry to interrupt. I oh, know. Sorry for one thousand five hundred. Yeah, um, talking about with with the ten one thousand eight hundred pound in yeah. sponsorship. Yeah, no. So I'm just looking at for I just thought Fortune festival is so big. But I just feel is it you know Fortune fun day as well. Um, yeah. Is there, is there scope to get more? Like, we had 250 for events, Kids Fest. And again, with, with what went on, I don't know. I'm just thinking that's where it's almost free money. It's free money, but it's not money where, you know, you get, it's not it's, we rely on tickets. It should literally, here's, here's, here's the money for name on the board. However, you don't have to do much for it. And it's just, I'm just thinking, it's becoming the it's difficult to do with with certain things. They you know, make money at the same time as you end up with a deficit at the end of the month. So, um, so just just to answer to answer that um, as good as we can, um, we did, as you know, as you you were kind of part of it. We set set up a sponsorship planning group last year, um, and 
that was the first time we started properly looking at the whole business of sponsorship. Um, and we do have, and there was a whole process of targets, gold, silver, bronze status. That was, it was probably 2019 and 21 over the year that we started to properly start getting sponsorship in. Um, we think we've, we've been quite realistic in our sponsorship targets and they've been budgeted for. I think there's always scope to improve it and it would be good, I, I feel, to more your points, to perhaps reinstate that planning process with some people from such as you, you could sell. Um, and start doing that again next year, that process. Two, for a number of reasons, almost not wouldn't they slow it down, but make sure that we have thought through, well, we're providing the budget targets, the sponsorship, and it's as a team now, as an events team, make sure we deliver those events. So that, that's been, I think, where we're at, but I agree with you entirely that there could be more that we could do, particularly since I think our events have got better and better. Mm -hmm. So I think quality, marketing, uh, evaluations we've got, um, photographs, track records, we can do do that once. I, I would suggest once we've got a full a good team in place for next year. Another thing we did this year, which I think is rather than just straight forward sponsorship, we have sponsorship in kind. So for example, yes. it's best. You could do an unkind. Figure. Yeah. Okay. That that be like, of course, we value would be a value of X, Y, and Z. That could be an in kind. Mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't oh, like your budget numbers. <laughs> they would show show that you've got. They'd probably help members in the reporting stages rather than the budget side. Of that would probably help that. And it does say, um, I think. Um, it's picked up a point that will become increasingly clearer to me versus we move forward through the budget process is that as officers are extremely aware that members really like the budgets, they really like this events budget, and we want to add to it. Um, but eventually, we're going to hit to the point where we're trying to say, and what else? Uh, for example, like, We'll look for somebody to to do the actual one specific, and the 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 Monday I'd be looking for a person, our organisation to do that. So if you get five or six events, we'll a person to do one rather than looking for fifty throughout the year or do bits of ones. That might be a way forward, but I'm sure also what we can come back with that with an approach. I think what Ben's saying is that we want to spend more and all we would really be doing with any funding and you know, sponsorship is really actually just reinvesting it back in. It becomes a virtual circle and that would be the sort of outcome. And you're right to turn around and John's right to turn around and say that we don't want three quarters of the time of what was spent looking for two or three thousand pounds when, and then the, the event failed by the vault. So, um, there's a balancing act, and that's where hopefully we could maybe go down that road. I feel sorry, just but I feel it would be a good idea to because February March is the planning time. It would be a really, and also when companies are thinking about censorship and their marketing budgets for the year, I think it would be good to try and reinstate that planning meeting. Mm -hmm. That sponsorship planning meeting and invites. Um, I mean, last I think it was Louise James, 
Councillor Ben Hart, I think, yeah. Councillor yeah. Lily Crop. So, mm -hmm. so people with some experience to come and, uh, and then I think that would be very useful because you can then see if you, um, Councillor Shifa Hart, I think you actually recommended certain with your relationship with Roots and a couple of others. So it was good that we didn't, you know, rather than me or the events manager going after, it's a, it's a joint yeah. effort and people go after it. A lot of sponsorship is to do with relationships. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I just think it'd be nice to try and get that on net income over expenditure lower so that it at least warrants us improving things that we want to do as, as an event. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Observations? Just one and um, it's it's not really a positive question, um, but it's more about everybody I met thoroughly enjoyed it. It was weather helps, obviously, but for when we're running from standing start, we were running and the town council did very well within the local community. So I'd like to pass on our congratulations to your team and everybody involved. It was very well received and people are looking forward to another one in the future, which is always good. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Yes. Um, you. There is a question, sorry, there is a, a question to highlight that you may have picked up is that the grant received, I like, can one, two, three, 1077, so that was a good exchange from the good exchange. So the balancing of the net income over expenditure doesn't quite look right at Kids Fest because the there is an amount of eight hundred and twenty seven pound income that should be allocated into that figure. Where is that? Sorry. Uh, so the item in the item number one two eight. Events, specials, and one off. Oh, yeah. So that equates, which makes that figure then in successful event, it did hit it. Um, income and expenditure targets. Mm -hmm. Why is it it's like we just spent willy really nearly just going over budget? Which is why. Thank you. Thank you. Um, family Fun Day. Um, so that the end of spend for the day of the 2000 years. But £2,200, which has been approved for investment in additional future funding. The what ideas about how that should be in the um, Yes, that, that came out of the events working party. Um, it worked very well. There was a number of items that we um, put forward, which I think is in the events working party minute. Um, and there was, sorry, there was also an appendix to that. But if you look at, you go back to the WP 2020 Family Fun Day, there was a number of things, some yeah. items, such as flags yeah. that we wanted to get hold of, which would make. And then code and say, this is where the dog show is, for example, we use them in two purposes. We use them both to when storeholders come in, they that they see the the flag on the ground, shattered, running around. <laughs> um, and also some bespoke signs for when we know that we'll always have a first aid tent, there'll always be the food area. Not always be an information point. The issues I think that members of the working party acknowledge was that it's a flat site. You need you need things higher so that the people it's bigger. You need certain key things so people can actually see where some of the attractions are. Um, so I think that would take the pressure off the information tents and and other places if people can see. 
Um, but the other areas was came from one of the members, which was to invest in a bigger stage, music stage. Right. Um, what we do in financial year, the, the, the budget available that, that now, basically, in, within this financial year. So the extra expense of a bigger stage, um, we've got more money to play with, play, play with for next year. And I think the other key thing was there was conversations about entertainment. Yeah. And it was felt that what worked particularly well was remembering that it's a family fun day and to get something that the, the dinosaur, yeah. mobile dinosaur, everyone coming in here to put holes and leave with bubbles. Yeah. yeah. Kids love that. Yes. Yeah. So, so, yes. Yeah. So it's been more than that as opposed to some kids um, really. big expensive expenditure. Mm. Um, so, 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 yeah. Thank you about that. And I think right. when we left the, the flags thing was that you were going to go away and sort of groups and things, wasn't it? Right. The students and they get Lovely. Thank you, Mark. Um, just to add to that, really, I mean, um, yeah, as it says there, F and GP, um, the that's the one thing that is growing and we and once they get there, you're not quite sure what they're looking for. And so as it grows and as it becomes more successful, one thing we can do more, more uh, using the community to provide a future navigation and signage as well as further than that, another thing I think was discussed was the dimensional wooden signs as coded on the Especially for heart. From the two entrances from the A4, just for one event, you're allowed to play, you're allowed to block them. I don't know, legally, you're allowed to. Stephanie? I'd rather you didn't. Oh, oh yes. Because my family were arriving very late, so I told them they'd have to go to the garden centre. And of course, they did just enough just for you. Do you have any thoughts so then that way you come in via the main part and be welcomed in rather than sneaking in the court and people when you start to practice people were sneaking in the court. Well one of sorry, one of the things we are doing is trying to encourage women to walk. Can't walk from Amesbury and Wiltshire. They're not. From was to Barra Field as they were. Yeah, and just the, the point that I raised at the previous item was about we don't want officers to walk away and think, oh, it's an underspend they're going to take it off of us. But we're on about reinvesting and their spends, reinvesting yeah. additional incomes. Otherwise, we don't see much point. Otherwise, we just Hit me line, job done, walk away. It's not that that mindset, I think, is long gone from the members of this group for sure. So hopefully, if we can get more additional income, more grants, more sponsorship into the pot, this is something we think the work that's been done in the past has set some fantastic foundations of events and. Towns around this area would look and, and look to Thatcham as an example of how to do things like this. We've got the space, we've got the budgets, we've got the officers and the experience, and now we're building on that foundation. So it's exactly what we want to do. Yeah, great. Can I ask a question about stage then? So you're, you're saying on item four, invest in a bigger stage, like the stage bus used up at Morgan and Christmas. Is there a stage? I don't even remember seeing one. For family under Councillor Stevenson. Yes. yes. The, the, there was in the food, the food court area, there was a Newfoundland stage. Yeah. Same size as that was at Festoff. So as big as the stage. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's just a big looting box fan. That's it's, it's, 
So the stuff was big enough to have 20 yeah. bedrooms. Yeah. Um, oh, and I, I guarded him while he set up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so so I think one of the councillors pointed out, having spoken to new pride, that why family fun day, why can't we get a bigger stage? We did have a bigger stage by Queen's Jubilee year, because there was some additional money that came out from the London Memorial Hall Foundation. Those members put budget towards it, and when it was cancelled, we were able to then bring that stage. Um, so, yeah. To help members, you're not suggesting we buy a stage and we store it for Absolutely. 37 weeks of the year and bring it out the case. So it's it purely to hire and um, to be a showcase and again about. You would have to, if you're going to spend that much more money on a stage, it would have to be filled. With a lot of money on a stage, you've got to use it. To be fair, the what's going on and that there were school little school children that were squashed on the stage but they didn't see the dancing but that was of course on the grass I see it because there was a very big circle around them i think there's a, there is a point to be noted that's one of the things that that has come up in officers planning meeting is good some of the arenas and stages will be more central to the action. Because at the moment, you know, four rows of storeholders, a lot of you said there isn't a way which isn't being finalized. So it's not a, but it was, it wasn't tucked out of the way, but it was, unless you knew it was there. And there's also things about sound clash that we need to mm. think through as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure one of the things the officers, the officers meeting that was what we do on the stage, a bigger stage, probably needs to be more central. Yeah. To the action. May I just give a little I did note about this? And most of you three A stall for the afternoon. And we had applied to U3A for some money to buy ourselves one of those standards, those flags that stand up, you know, and and a little play work as well. So uh, all the from higher up in the U3A have spent our money. I'm so impressed by the whole thing. I wanted to tell you by what we'd done as the U3A, but she thought the event was marvellous. Stay for a good hour. Just to highlight the, the stage, we had the African Fest this year. Um, my role, my, my apologies for, and that was that again, of a one off. Let's see how this thing flies, as such. And a larger stage, higher at a similar rate that we would hire it from, would probably go down quite well as well. If you see what I'm saying. Because obviously, if we are going to uh, go to these people and say we'd like to hire a stage, five events a year. There may be six where we have people who are coming to us with our facilities that we would recommend they use. So it's, it's not a bad thing. Maybe it's six or seven hires out of it if you just say what I say. Case in point, we, we did the same with Newbury Pride. Look at the stage. As we were in lunch, and it was happening very close by, we did a grant application with the group pride. And as a result of that, we were able to bring in some additional, like the store walkers, for example, the discount for that because new group fest, etc. So, yeah, it's worth the worth of push, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. And it's time for me to pitch first to note the points raised by the events working party on the significant form. This was item eight. Oh, I've got a preemptive it, didn't I? Sorry. That's fine. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Because I only went into the Broadway and the High Street. Can someone tell me how Kernfields went? Kernfield was amazing, and I heard it doesn't believe this is free. People got good mates, and we're sort of sitting in the middle. Obviously, castles were full. Judy then was the simplest. London were fantastic. They provided cake and crafts in the corner in the Hindis. Like, go to my Calmax type of thing. Is that what they were? Yeah, it's cardboard. Yeah. yeah. All day. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody can personally think to me for organising it all. Ah. Feed in the glory. Yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> there is. The theatre workshop. Oh, the theatre workshop. Oh, yeah. We went down there, actually. It was all over when I got down there. Yeah, we missed it as well. Yeah, I think it was well attended. I think. I was just going to say. Um, how do you kind of know is. Um, and I think she's um, going to be very soon for modernity. Um, I feel as a council, because of what she's done so much for us uh, behind the scenes, that I feel we, we possibly should do something for her when the arrival of the baby. Yeah. Yeah. She's announced that to all her friends and family. <laughs> if you did it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you did. Let's go see the St Mary's worships. I yes, yes. wasn't there, and um, my understanding is that they weren't fully really booked in advance, but they did get a lot of people coming through the doors. Did it so, so, so manage to go there, and then they were doing an active session, and it was really attended, but the quality of the work was, was super. Oh, good. So it was run by um, what the water mill was. You know, you know what they're doing, and I think they appreciate being part of it, and yeah. there's relationship indefinitely. I think partly it's because it was such a beautiful place, right? Mm. Very lucky. Yes. It's such a festival. So we've already talked a bit about that. There was a um mm -hmm. is there anything else on there, John, that you wanted to mention? Um I mean just to say that we, I mean, sorry, did you want to perhaps, uh, do you want to perhaps chip in? Thank you. Um, so I think we, we're still collecting feedback from sort of storeholders, uh, community offices, with 38 people coming from feedback so far from the sort of general public. It's all looking fairly positive. I'm happy to share it. Or we can wait until we've got a further report with all comments and feedback. Um, or if you're welcome to share your feedback now, or we can look to the writing, whichever would suit you. Thank you, really. What are the highlights? Um, so it was a feedback. So, let me... so well, as I said, we've reached out, we were hoping to get a bit more response um, in terms of numbers coming back, but so we have 39 responses. Um, the positive here is 40% of those haven't been to many events before. Um, oh, and so it feels like a really exactly. positive thing. You being at the festival and some of the events, you know, for example, some of the talks, you saw some really new things yeah. in the audience, which feels like a really positive that we've reached people. Mm -hmm. And it's not the same people sort of attending. Such a comedy hub. Um, with um, ourselves and right. that's uh, that half the audience and its regulars. Right. And half the, the other half were the festival. So that was yeah, really, yeah. really exciting. Really. Yeah. So, so had they they seen the sorry, had they seen the advertising on social media? <laughs> we're, we're coming to that. <laughs> uh, I mean, the other thing that I noticed people talked to was they'd come from all over to the small Manchester to do that. She was sort of handbell ringing. 
And then they were coming to something, they, they were coming to the talk on the swan, I think, and something else. So, you know, people coming from outside the area. Excellent. And I did speak to a few of those. Maybe we need to have a residence ticket premise. <laughs> just grab them, just take them and say thank you in a minute. <laughs> just a sort of a, a split down of um, which events were attended. I mean, there's lots on there. We won't go through all of them individually, but first off, first off seems to be the sort of highest one there. Um, again, it's difficult, but they're quite small numbers, so it's it's difficult. But, but um, Bazooki Bellows, um, 16%. That was the um, evening we've had some positive feedback from the um, which one was the Duke Bello? The Mark II. The Mark II music is 16 percent attended that. Leisure and Craft there, 16 percent. Can I just say about the Bazooki Bellows, the number of people I've had in the shop asking to buy tickets, it was already sold out. Mm. Well, that's good. And we I discussed with them on the night on whether a different venue would be better because we could easily. Yeah. Yes, they really want to put it into that in the night. Yeah. It's only yeah. in the PA system. Venue for the end. It's the old big resort. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to the one last year and it was it works as a venue. Yeah. It does. You just want to book them in four nights at the same slot yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what you want yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah. Can I just say that you play with a beginner? That's not. Because mm -hmm. nobody. It was the first time. Event. Oh, I see what this is. Mean. Because that was four, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. The numbers of the people that right. attended. Yeah. So this is purely just their okay. private. So if you don't want to go to the we you will have that eventually. You'll have a full report. So I think whether it's worth reviewing that. And as Sarah has said, we'll do another call out for more information if we might get. More than 39 example, probably. Yeah. And the figures will be a bit more realistic. Yeah. 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 But you want, you know, in terms of the top line, you've some of the interesting things maybe to talk about is the marketing is that the PI magazine mm -hmm. has a lot of people, and it is influencing now how we're marketing Christmas. Right. So Newbury Weekly News, not many people are just, um, picking it up compared with. Sort of surprising contraction because our our bit is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whereas the I magazine goes to every house. Yes, Chum. and I think we need to wait to get more of a complete picture. But it looks like there's more footprints in terms of how people found uh, out. Yeah, certainly. I hear you can see that six out of those have been one the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Five months, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. dust. So, so that will influence our Christmas advertising, and we will still put an advert in Newbury. Will it be having advertising mm -hmm. like we spend with them? Yeah, but definitely we're going for a big stage. Mm -hmm. So this is you. This is all useful for us. Um, I mean, em Emily does say to be careful of this. People, you know, people say social media a lot because it's the last thing yeah. recognize opposed to the banner that's been there. Yeah. No small thing on the banner uh, the feed. There was some kind of glitch in the feed uh, in the East. Uh, when the link came through on, on the phone, it was live. But if it came through on a laptop, it wasn't so you'd have to the inputs did into a the QR code. Yeah. Okay. That was with with really with the same line for the you the sign some the sort of okay. Thanks. Yeah. Shall we use swap hands then? May I just add that the sign you had outside Waitrose? I'm reading it. <laughs> I've seen it three days before and yeah. It was a marvelous slot. That's brilliant that way for his uh, position. But they won't allow us to fly inside shops, so we're doing it. Uh, I'm leaving you straight out. <laughs> um, 
So in, ter in terms of the festival, I think we felt that, I mean, I think the attendance numbers will show that it did very, very well when it comes through. Um, so things that I attended that weren't meant to be funny, but this one, you said to me there were 12, and then I turn up and it's nearly four. Mm -hmm. Um, in the last few days, we, yeah. we, we did a special offer to a select few organisations uh, within fashion, and it really worked. Hmm? In three the year before, hmm? I'm just sorry about a minute, just to say that it was really used to the numbers. Quite right, quite right. I think I think it's great. <laughs> Women's Institute, we, we also have a special opportunity and many days. Yeah. Or use any more. You know, I mean, kind of the cell, we know when the same is. And constantly, Sarah and myself were looking at it's just changed social media strategy slightly. Concentrate, forget about Thrives, it's doing incredibly well. The numbers are going through the roof. Let's just work on the Swan tour. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I mean, that was amazing. It was very diverse. It was not really I didn't actually get personally for organizing that. Really, you really did say that. Chair of events, so it's all you done. Can we mention then one of the feedback from Thrives that someone said? Do you want to read it out? So we fantastic patch and Thrives with an amazing group with some very talented dancing from different Yes, so I think that's yeah. We have the toddlers and the grandparents. And disabled dancers, Asian everything. dancers, Asian dancers, so, so, okay. yes, school, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And apparently, there were other dance schools applied, and I know, and they haven't talked about maybe expanding that next year and doing it over a couple of years. Yeah, that, that, sorry, John was going to say something. I know. Um, you just brought up the very thing that I was thinking, um, the side issue about there's some things that clearly work very well and we need to increase the slot allocation to those things. Uh, for the, this is a perfect example of organisations and groups of people who want to come but there just isn't enough on that day. We need to be more work, but if it's, if it's growing like that, we should be looking to add other venue, other dates to to to, to include them in. It really is as simple. Uh, the Blue Coats uh, evening that we, I mentioned earlier, again, you could double the amount of people there, but you'd lose the venue aspects of it. So why not do that extra nights in? Yeah, people would have probably a very good example as well. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we don't want to create extra work, but if you're saying to these organisations, look, you, not only is there space for you to grow here, you can actually then expand what you're doing. So I think maybe we need to report back and say what things could we allocate extra days to or extra things to that we know so, and then use your backstop and organization to come in and the scene. This is worth setting up the actual financials that we've got so far on the events. That that will actually pretty much show you an ink. I know it's not just about income, it's about attendance numbers and satisfaction, yeah. but it does give you a day with me. Just wanted to go on, on to the back of what Tom was saying there. Agree with it because I think there are events that also clash with other events, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, yeah. yeah. Um, can I further that again? Some evening events, and I think particularly members of the WI would have preferred to have gone to those events in the daytime, for example. 
things like talk that you could do in the daytime mm -hmm. and the evening that you might reach a point. Yeah, it yes. can be filled yeah. at night. Yeah, same talk twice. Yeah. Sarah, I can't remember the name you told me. Single on the lunchtime. Oh, yeah. In one hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He travelled a very long way because he, he used to live here, but he lives two, three counties away. Oh, yeah, he goes. And only came all this way for an hour. Was that his choice or our choice? That was that, that was their choice. Was so we, we we put something in which is called like an expression of interest, and they then have they tell us what, what they want to do. Right. Uh, it was still a you know to the UCA as well, and do do the day. Um, what do you what do you want it? Well, now I understand it comes from. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it's very weak, but it gets fabulous, but it was very well attended. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. It was good, yeah. I enjoyed it. Passing yeah. was, 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 was so good. I was my first back. I got it. Evening, I went to the um, ladies' choir as well. So I knew the ladies. So I had a wonderful day. That seemed... So sad that we didn't have those the the first week of refreshments for the night. Um, yeah. um, yeah. um, so it's not the three Yeah, we talked from what is going to you that's um right uh, total sales. What is the amount you want to look at is there? Yeah. The, so this these are the different from the one was analysis. Oh okay. We wanted to double check do we really run it? Yes, we do. Um and also there was some cells as well that I managed to find, but it just shows you, you know, how much we're taking from something like so this is our profit, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, different deal depending on what it is. The green wall, which is going very well. Bots, is that what you saw? The nose, which is a good top, yeah. yeah, which did really well. Bots, fun. I mean, these are the exceptional ones where there was the payment. The £500 fee. The rest of that was bought minus five fee from Kenneth. So that's a pretty good call for us. In what is an incredible event with. Yeah. with um, the parents still saying it's really good value for money. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We want it in terms of the uh, budget, but it's still quite a healthy sum. Yeah. Question that. And overall, sounding very enthusiastic, which is, this is the whole point of this event here, effectively. Um, do you have the capability and the flexibility with your current, bearing in mind what's just about to happen with yourself, um, do you have the capability and flexibility to make this event, the festival, grow? In other words, is your budget big enough? Have you got enough team? Have you got enough support? Because this works very well. It's really, as you know, there's some of these things in here which don't generate, generate a lot of money, but they generate a lot of community gathering together in places within our communities, which in itself is part of what we're actually really doing here as well. The Amanda Knox talk and things like that. But not a lot of money. You could have three of them on, on Wednesday, Friday, and a Saturday. You can have lots more of that sort of thing. Do they actually take a lot of organising, or is it just the case of higher... And I don't know if it's a hall, phone person, oh, by the way, we've got your Wednesday and we've got your Thursday, we've got your Saturday, and then bang, it's done. If you see what I mean, yeah. I don't wish to simplify it, but. I think that's the other bit of. I never went to an event where there wasn't somebody there, an officer, whether it's so, a team or someone else, because um, I think it's the, you know, the team and the looking and all that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. 
I think it's a real mix. And then we're trying to do as much as possible. So Trans Fries is a really good example. He initiated the idea and the concept. Yeah. And worked very closely with with Sonia Brown in the first year. You step back. Now do the front of house, the publicity, obviously. Yeah. Um, but to be honest, you didn't really need to do much more publicity because because the parents will come yeah. to that. Oh, yeah. that yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but other events like the fest off, there's more work involved in terms of the storeholders, the content that we put on the talks. Hard work is nothing author. Um, once we've got the right author, then it's not. We, there is a front of house role. Um, some authors are a little bit more precious than others. You know, a bit more demanding. You know, what's happened? Where's the publicity? What's going on? Why is it my thought? In fact, what I've done, but generally, it's, it's been a machinery, really, in terms of the publicity, evaluating and just making sure things go according to plan. The Dr. Nick Young one is, yeah, that's his event, you know, and, and he just likes our marketing machinery. So, and of course, there's tech involved in here. We did more things in the chamber than we've ever done before, but we know the chamber really well and it works well. No, I, to your question, I think this can get a bit bigger and it's interesting than anything. I think we have to continue to literally rather than going from this mm -hmm. concentrate on one thing we want to grow. So mm -hmm. do we want more events on each day or do we want to have that the big event in or you know is it makes it an idea I think you came up with a choirs festival on one day. What was predicting that would be so wouldn't that be incredible? So if we were to do something like that one year we probably wouldn't have the scope to grow everything else. Yeah. Not to keep abilities near. Yeah. So we want to do it. Yeah. I mean, can I speak up again? Uh, I mean, I think that's right. You do have to focus on, on one thing at a time. And sometimes, obviously, I'm uh, uh, only in this. Um, you have to focus, I think, as well on the age groups as you, as you go through, make sure you're working it in each of those. These different I mean, sort of strong, supportive, um, regular attendees to these events. They tend to be in, in certain age categories. Um, uh, and maybe not <laughs> spread over the board. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was just going to say was um, we need to really as a committee think those volunteers have really gone the extra mile and Nick Yell was mentioned as one of them. I think he was definitely from a different events of the government really, mm -hmm. of course of course. Um, and, and obviously, all the organizers of Patrick Price and the uh, volunteers who um, we know there's not a huge pool of volunteers, um, and we're getting very little because of those people. Mm -hmm. the thing, of course, who yeah. do a good job. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Can I, can I bring up two things? On the weekends, and I can't remember when it was, I was actually at a clinic school for a totally separate event, which clashed with the festival. Schools, chamber choir singing together. In January, I went to, it was wonderful, and then this one, and it was superb. The clinic school has two lovely choirs because the Woman who conducts them says, "This is my chamber choir. We've got a senior choir too." So your idea of a by a lot idea of choirs day, Clinic School can provide quality two choirs ready on site. Clinic School would be an ideal location. 
that's all I want for it. The second one was the full festal. I could only do the early bit. That's the most useful I have ever, ever been as a counsellor. And my bossiness came to fruition. Where you had boss this afternoon, I had Mikey here as well. We were needed. <laughs> to do down through the storm between me. Yeah. Your chap needed to get on night shift. Your chap needed to go home. So I had to walk from home. Yeah. 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 Dave called out way at the time. Because you know, I needed a flat for the end. Really shocked me. <laughs> sign about the road closure and the times had been out for at least two weeks. Did he bother to read it? Oh no. I was really shocked. So they didn't twice. You I thought it was outrageous the way. Two days in advance. Because I did feel useful rather than just sitting at a store. Another sting. Anyway, it was all the early stuff. I'm going to kick the cats to Stevenson. That's actually a question. I think you just. I want to remember the Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so everything is going according to plan. It's this Sunday. So, um, usually a counselor myself says, uh, we'll say something like, we'll say something like, the doctor was peace right and it comes from a remembrance day and attend with the parade and and parade with, um, with the parade. We'll be leaving sharp at. Um, 10 30 a.m. from the England Centre car park. Did you get that park? England Centre. No, no, no. That was last year. Went to the wrong town. Did you live here? Yes, you did. Moving on, because I was asked by the chairman. And um, be, and also pleased to note that Armistice Day is the next day, uh, and that will be at 11 o'clock sharp. Again, the service is there. They're closing the it's run by the It's run by the RBL, and there will be refreshments in here afterwards. Oh, in here? Yeah. Not um, okay. Come on. Oh, dear. Um, the other point that's um, from the events working party with the request from the Faction uh, Memorial Foundation to have a number of people um, that could be in the parade ground. They requested 40. Um, and Chairman, you, you called that you, you'd said we need more time yeah. to research that. It was something like two weeks' notice, and we needed to consult with everybody, especially the Royal British Legion. We, we didn't have the time to do this. I mean, if, if they're thinking about that for next year, then obviously we need to give them the nudge. I, I could give us um, just an update in terms of talking to the parade, right. parade marshal and the RBL. Um, neither of them were in favour of having uh, that as a request. Um, the request was because... Um, oh, it was 40 people in seats. Seats within the parade ground, and it's part of what they they're trying to do. Where they would go? They're trying to create a friends' foundation, which 
um, would then be allowed to have a certain number of benefits. Um, so Craig Marshall didn't feel it was it was appropriate because the event is not necessarily it's for members of the public to witness, but it's the parade route and the from dignitaries, it's the RBL. It's within the parade route. It's their event. So, so the RBL said the same thing that they felt it should be. Well, the chairperson of the uh, chairman of the RBL said the same thing. I mean, I don't know what we whether we want to just that as a discussion item. I don't think we need to make a decision now, but I just thought it's useful to relay that. It's not our discussion though, is it? Is that if they wanted to apply again next, if they wanted to ask us that again next year, then that's for them to do it. For the more of you to do it. I think um, and well in advance. I mean, I don't think it would get approved again. From what you're saying, I mean, I couldn't see where forty chairs would fit into that space anyway. But the, the, his, the history of that is that the town clerk felt in 2022 that it seemed a bit odd that the um, main officer. It's the Memorial, Memorial Foundation from standing on the side. Oh. So, 2023, Manly suggested to invite him as one. Now, unbeknown to us, there just put one that, that we didn't understand. And the follow up is this idea that we'd like to have to 40 people within the pre I don't think it's our decision. The chairman of the foundation wants to pursue this. He needs to start it months in advance, as the mayor has suggested. And commercialization in the parade, to me, is a non starter. A lot of his scheme, I mean, the scheme that he's trying to raise money for the Memorial Foundation, that's fine. But then to ask for the space for 40 seats. That's a lot. A parade ground that is for to residents. And the, those on parade. And the Royal British Legion. Just the space he'd want is where the Royal British Legion forms up. Mm -hmm. And shunt them further back. <laughs> it, I'm afraid it really, my first reaction was, if he's going to bring it forward again for the of of time in full consultation. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the first I've heard of it. It, it makes sense that we don't look into this as close to the event. Um, could we suggest that before we are approached that uh, the other, other, other organisations brought on board first before we then get in the mix with us because mm. we can't say yes, we can't say no, but that's what we were saying. I think that's effectively what we're yes. Yeah. Um absolutely. Um I only I only have one suggestion for this event. Um and it's probably because people are keen and people are not familiar with marching and stuff like that. But we have somebody from our team at the front looking back to make sure that the front people don't walk too far ahead because you the big organizer last year says, slow down. <laughs> yeah, no. but what I'm saying is if you can get somebody to walk with the front people to turn and say, okay, slow down, they're effectively the front front markers, you know, the rear markers saying, oh, you want your lot to speed up, and then he's running in between as a buffer. That, that would be helpful because... Right at the very front. We've got no idea what's happening behind us because we're, we're back, if you see what I'm saying. Well, just to give us some guidance. Well, the front marshal this year will be... Will be so. um, yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye and say, shorten your pace. Or... That, it, just because... And then we'll have contact with the middle and the front section. So we can do that more carefully this year. It was the first, I, I missed the first year that I moved to Thatcham. 
various reasons. But that was the first one I did last year. And I was extremely impressed with the numbers of people who came out yeah, and the support and the whole process. So I was very impressed with, with, with people. I suppose it shouldn't really have been because it has been a bit of a military town for quite some considerable years. Considering it was drizzling with rain for most of the time as well. Hopefully it'll be nice, absolutely. And there is a, an after service as well. Yeah. yeah. The services at St Mary's and then, yeah. then the one at the, then the, one at the yeah. memorial. And I think there's some baited to that one as well. Yeah. They were invited to the church as well. I mean, that's the, it's a bit of a repeat. Yes. Yeah. It's basically reading the names of the woman. Small service either side. There's a lot of names to be able to. I think, I think the main thing is obviously. And on to go to the service as well. There are, you know, the readings. Well, yeah. from the parade ground to St Mary's and then not go in. Still people oh, do that. Oh, yeah. You just go home. Right, absolutely. You keep sending out the car out. And church. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Who, who told you to stop three, three times? Or was the general? The, no, who, there's a lady. Uh, an officer's name. We were going too far ahead of ourselves and it was like stop and slow down so a little bit. Quick you know, it was a little bit of um James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, it was at the front with his long legs. So. No. It, it wasn't a problem because otherwise because we couldn't all stop and all go oh, where are we sort of thing. That that's, that was the only issue that I would say. I've been the cenotaph. I've been in other squadrons, so I know the ceremonial side of that sort of stuff. That would help people who's not, not familiar with what to do with things like that. We did have a very good rehearsal yesterday, I thought. We did. <laughs> Some of them were smaller than the flags. It's nice community stuff. It's, you know, the rehearsal was the United Nations flag. Yes. yes. Now, this may be a slightly controversial thing to say. Um, there is stuff happening around the world, and has anybody given any conversations to anybody about other people bringing other flags and things like that? If you get what I'm saying. Between the lines. No. Uh, and there was no issue if people wanted to turn up with a pro Palestinian flag, we wouldn't tell them to go away. Would we? I would get advice from well, they can't go in the yeah, parade. March. And, 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 yeah. I mean, it's a very strong police and uh, non uniformed police, so to speak, within within it all. And the very aware of particular. Levels and our risk assessments reflected that's the sort of us here. That's the reason I think towards it. And aware we're guided by leaders, but they they know who and they know sometimes well before us who's, you know, for example, if the MP is quite it's going to be and then special um, additional security measures and so on. So they're very aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. so I, the thing is that the, all of the flags shouldn't have a precedence. Yes, yes. So any other flag would have to wait till the end of the parade. I was in the end. I was merely thinking Joe Public's walking about and just doing a flag. Yeah. That, that's all I was sort of like. I think it's uncommon if you do that. Because there's a bit of a discussion with. Proper organizations to they will have an idea of what to do and when to do. That was all. Thank you. Uh, are we done on remembering something? Very quickly. I need to, um, just that we've had a really positive.
um, reaction to our knitted poppies and crochet poppy appeal. In addition to ones that we already have, so we've got 150 meters of stones and piece yeah. going up. We're having the big oak tree wrapped in. We've got pins. We've got pins, and we went to another 200 today. Seeing them, well, there's already a post. I should say that it's beautiful outside by uh, outside crickets. It's the highest, yes. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. I don't know if I was putting it up yesterday, someone commented as they walked out. So beautiful. lots of things will pop up, and by the end of the day, Thursday, we should be ready enough. And Lovely. a lot of it will be on the route of the parade on Sunday. So, shall I be popping up? I was just to say that Sarah has been the, the lead person that's taken on board this initiative and really, I mean, it happened a few years ago, but she's really shit this year. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to being that. Thank you. Um, want to warming up for Christmas? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's going on? I've gone to see it. I'm moving everyone. Thank you. Still the PAP. Yeah. Or the the Crim Money Nights. Is it still on? It's and it. Yeah. Uh, we do for Saturday. We bump out for Saturday. You're in. 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 You're yeah, yeah. Sarah, yeah. would you like to? Yeah, no, it's Friday. Um, Friday's a really positive. John's been working on content this week, which is looking really full. Um, which is nice. We've got a number of stalls, including charity, share, commercial, which will run on the greenway all the way down the high street. Yeah, better. And we've got some nice entertainment lined up on the high street as well. So yeah, right, yeah. Um, we'll have an area sort of down the end just to encourage mm -hmm. people to sort of you know move into that space. Mm -hmm. Maybe slightly difficult this year for the to be on the Broadway because mm -hmm. of what it's always been. We we'll really try and encourage storeholders. And public to sort of come down there. So we're also going to have some roaming entertainment down the high street as well, just to encourage that movement yeah. down there. So that's all the bubble lady. The bubble lady coming back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so crowded last year. Yeah. People, people were making space. Yes. Yeah. They were. And they were used to it for first off as well. Yeah. So. And I've just been really surprised with how many people came in that. And, 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 and people coming in. And I realized that we deliberately had a nice stream area and with some choirs and things on the spot. Was it going down there? <laughs> Old wine, Bory, that is what we are, that I always do. Um, in your day, I should be really. Lay on your top of the the sun. No, 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 this year that far yeah. yeah. That's our ambition. <laughs> it feels really, really good. So today, um with really good lineup again with the on the on the stage area, which will be just about the Christmas tree. Oh yeah.
Yeah, don't forget. You get up to speed these, sorry. Don't forget, Ben. We have found it more difficult to get still holders for the Christmas market. Yeah. Um, so we have the sort of anticipated numbers that we're proving. Um, we're still working on What we have found is people are booked up so far in advance of Christmas. So two to three years, they're either. All of them are tied to their local events. If, if you know they're from a surrounding village or town, we are continuing to work on it. We've got 10 confirmed at the moment and hoping to push up to 15, 17 to make that Broadway green and pretty full as possible. Um, so, just so to manage your expectations, that has been harder, but we know for next year. We thank the members for the additional money for the hard content in terms of Friday and stuff like that. Um, the full part, so the, the two major things we bring in will be a photo opportunity that looks really, really festive and Victoriana. And on the Saturday, something again that just um, Moving the weather has been rated on a Friday that that's it, which is a big they told me asking the um the theatre choir as well whether they wanted to roll it that when they yeah, yeah so J Jamie reads choir so um, uh it, they've booked a stall for for stall. And they were just free freestyling, weren't they? With me in. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so on, on the Friday, we're, we're hoping you can do some, do some sort of move in the big top. Yeah, and then kind of like move the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. yes, I want to know. Are we insured for Madame Mayor to be Mrs. We need protection. Is this so John? Because I'll be. And you're doing it on Saturday? No, no, John. I'm being Madame Mayor in my robes because I'll be nice and warm. I sure will be. Except I'm reading, and Mrs. Santa on Saturday, Mayor has volunteered. Did you know? Saturday, I was born. Well, they're both okay. And when they tried to kidnap you, Dan or Mrs. Santa, Yes. Fine. Value has gone up. <laughs> I'm going to put a dampener. I'm going to put a dampener out because I remember very, very well. Bar humbug. And then you can see him there. Last one on the fourth floor. The horizontal sleep. All evening, mm -hmm. sheltering in the Kingsland Centre, trying to keep away from it. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been we've been tremendously lucky with all the wonderful events, but there is never a plan B, is there, for an evening like that? Yeah. Yeah, nothing could really go ahead. No. Did anyone come out? Were there people there? Well, happy to do it. Who's the sweetest artist? I've got to have a the storeholders have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a plan for something that's outside, isn't it? Absolutely. Have yeah. like something that you could bring inside. Have a plan that Sort of sherry laws drink for the mayor and VIPs mm -hmm. for a few years. It seemed to have run, Matt, about that. It slipped away and has returned. It could have been to do one very person who was a big fan of faction who's no longer Ms. Lucia. 
She's gone. So probably is. Yeah, says, you know, the only thing I can do is oh, uh. Cool. The funeral Karen wrote me back on the weekend, but that was a nice space in its gym. Oh, she can't get many people in. That's the only trouble. Sorry, Joe, just one minute. I was going to um, feel like I was talking to members of Community United during the um, uh, festival and um, uh, they. Today, I don't know if you've had discussions with them since. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, I just wanted to pass it on. What we 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 just um, beginning of the year, put all our events on the table, and this was the one that they, the dancers were free for. Okay. Oh, also, they're quite busy then. One last thing, maybe. and I suppose it's another dad. Oh dear! Have the other side of things. And so many of you, I'm sure, have been the year before to the Newbury one, which is vast, surrounded, and as several people have said, nowhere near as enjoyable as ours. The biggest draw. Absolutely. Christmas is the new year. With the new one last year, was that they had the, the lantern walk, which starts it all up. So many people are going to be coming with the lanterns, and everyone had to register. Yeah. So, to Walking, and it was very, very cold. People were walking absolutely ages mm -hmm. just for the, 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 the months to start, um, which was obviously it was great that so many people turned up that they weren't expecting, but it just delayed everything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was curious about the, the difficulty getting stall holders. Um, you're right, we need to start this effectively January, February next year and get ahead of the game and that. Um, do we charge people for attending? Yeah. Um, public information. Do we charge a lot for it? Um, no. So we charge um, charity stalls. So the Friday charity stalls are fifteen pounds and commercial are twenty five. Right. And food outlets are thirty five. And we currently have how many? So on the Saturday, um, we have ten. Okay. Uh, twenty five. We have started to looking at with Christmas. Discounts for doing both and discounts for just adjusting accordingly to try and get those numbers up. Um, is there any value or does it undermine what you're trying to do to turn around and say to like, residents who want to one man band or sorry, Ben? Uh, same with the like to come and try something here for have a stand, obviously. The car boot type of stuff, turn up and give it a go. Facebook today is a, we've had a couple of cancellations. All right. We're interested, just a bit of a drive to, yeah. to push it as well. And we've contact, yeah, we've been going through. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It's a, we've got a space. It costs you nothing to add value. Yeah. That was a. That's the thing. That's where the yeah. moment now that actually the more. Because the more we get them there, although you may have paid 30 quid or 40 quid to get there, the more people that are there, the more it again it becomes almost like an hamster wheel. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, just one final thing to add on warming up for Christmas. I know it's not our events. To oh, yes. Just to remind everybody that's going on. Well, I can't run because I'm sick of being water. Well, yes, yeah, so, uh, obviously. obviously. While we're on the subject of runs, last year I went to a meeting with. <laughs> No, just to run the run in the first of, of the batch and saying, 
the third and the final of Christmas. You've since launched it six weeks earlier. It's doing okay in terms of, I think people are still hesitant about waiting about, you know, waiting to Christmas. Mm -hmm. However, numbers show that, and the names as well, a lot of them have done it last year. Um, about we can do on the recently Sunday because I know I'll, I'll get emotion but the, um, the Santa on day because Kenneth Radio will do it the Radio Club will do it it's just going to be on Friday and Saturday given it oh, promoting it at promoting our venue we have any promotional material okay. that's good Mm -hmm. um, where we're on this subject for branding. Uh, ah, uh, yes. uh, <laughs> yeah, walk. Could, could we ask through you, Adam Chair, uh, for the people who organise that to also highlight the fact you can actually walk it as well? You did do it last time. Um, because. Oh, you and John. You and John. But. If you could put that on your site so that it does say to people, you know, if you might not be able to run 10K, but you can certainly walk it and you're more than welcome. Um, because uh, I'll, I'll probably walk it, but I'm, I had the personal best last year. Yeah. Did for you? Did we not? Yeah. 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 But I'm trying to be honest. It shows on you. So I'm used to well problems in that two and a half of a walk. I think we're done. Oh, well, let's say it's somebody's last. Oh, yes. How many? Well, five years we've been here. Oh, that's what last year. I didn't count it how many. It's the bit he's on. Oh, dear. But, uh, well, really enjoyed being on Thatcham and having the support of all good subs. And we've really enjoyed having the support and the ideas and the, yeah. as the ideas and you put them into action very easily. Well, you made it seem as if it was very easy. We miss John. Let me put our thanks and entered into the minutes of the meeting that members thanked for the service and hard work and dedication to the community. Probably the newly weekly news. I feel we should get more and the Sure. Because the thing is, it's a attend events across the area. I feel it's a really good pace, in my opinion. Hey, I'm now to the town. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> James, so that's James. We do, we do throw a lot in, but they don't do a lot. Yeah. Both online, not to be much, I think it's maybe a No, no. Your yeah. sister put it in a letter from the mayor, and it was on the letters page. Uh -huh. yeah. We get more on the letters page than in the... Maybe it's the same of the team. We will have his picture in there. But also, you went on though, it's not me, little guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't want that sort of thing to get out, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Very to Humphrey. Yes. Perfect. 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 Perfect.